why would I need an inspector? Well, let me tell you why you need an inspector. It's RV Inspection Day, and today we are in Hope, New Jersey, about to inspect this 2018 Thor Ace 30.3. Now stick around. We don't know what we're going to find. You don't know what we're going to find, and our customer, she's got her fingers crossed that we don't find anything. We'll let you know at lunchtime. Okay, people, let's pretend this is you. You have found what you feel is your perfect unit, and you're going to do your first glimpse walkthrough. So let's walk through with me right now. This is my first glimpse. I've just walked in. Look how clean and pristine. This is a 2018, right? So it looks beautiful. The cupboards are beautiful. The leather is a little bit demarked. That's okay. It's a 2018. I think they forgot to put the seat up when the slide comes in. Stuff like that happens. But look at the countertops are beautiful. The walls, the coloring, everything looks nice. The linoleum on the floor. So coming through, first glimpse, I don't know what you would say, but would you at this point hire an RV inspector or just say, nah, looks good enough for me? I don't know, but coming through here, shower's nice and clean. They've done a really nice job with that. And guess what? They even put a nice, soft, comfy mattress in here, which doesn't come with your RV. Trust me. And if you have a hard cement mattress that does come with your RV, check out our link below because Montana has a great discount for you. And it's in the links below. But back to the inside of this RV, doesn't it look beautiful, right? the walls, everything looks really nice. So at this point, you've just seen your RV for the first time. Is it a bust or a go? Do you hire an RV inspector or you just pay cash and leave 2018? Let me know in the comments below how you would feel when you walked into this RV. Now let's go out and see Pierre's first glimpse. All right, first glimpse. Uh, I daydreamed about this unit. You know, you get used to the units and you say, oh, geez, I even told Laurel. We'll see how that one goes. 2018, people. This is not old. 1964 is old, but not 19... 2018. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, the minute we pulled up to the driveway, I said, all right, let's pretend it's you, okay? This is you looking at an RV and says, wow, this looks awesome. It looks beautiful. It's an ace. 30.3, 2018, it's new, I'm good to go. And look at this, the tires are beautiful and you'll be excited and happy. Those are Goodyear. Tires are 2017, just saw that. Yep, those are 17. So, well, they're due to change this year or next year, however you feel, but supposed to be five to six years, you should change your tires. You figure that one out. There's already a glimpse that I see. All right, so, so let's just walk around. This is yours, it looks beautiful frameless window. I'm all excited. They even put slide out toppers. This is a beautiful rig. Hey, they only went to a couple of places. You know, if I trust this, they only went to a couple of states. So it's, it's really cool, really nice. Look at this. This is beautiful. The front is nice. It's clean. I would almost say this is so freaking nice that why would I need an inspector? Well, let me tell you why you need an inspector. Let's just take a walk on the other side again. So looking at the back end of this, it looks nice, it looks beautiful. I'm happy there's a rear cap wall. But I have a window here. When I watch this, and I'm going like this, everywhere here it's wobbling. Okay, so I got the lamination, even the window's moving. So my first indication is probably the top of this window was never sealed right. So this is what caused this. So now I've got the lamination, but it's nothing. You can just buy it and go. When you end up home or some, one of your friends tells you, hey, what were you thinking? Well, I wasn't smart enough to hire an inspector. Oh, there you go. So this is the first glimpse that I have, which wants to make me run on top of the roof because I already see what's going on, but we'll go check from the inside with Laurel. And by the way, that is the reason why you hire us. Not for the time frame that we're gonna spend on this, but aren't you hiring us for our expertise, the way we find things, the way we look at things? So 
you better rephrase or revisit the way we charge what we charge. And then some people are frustrated as well. You spend half a day and that's my worst nightmare. Now I'm screwed. Uh, I lost this money. You, you, you lost which money? Okay, time to do some research here, people. If this is 80,000 bucks, how much did you lose? Our fees or 80,000 bucks of problem? So let's go back to our first glimpse. I'm just on the first glimpse here. So the minute I drove in, that's the first thing I saw. Here's this hole right here that I'm looking at. That is me. And I see some green stuff, so it's been laying there for a while. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm probably gonna have a problem in here. But then I look at the rest and same thing, there's green here, so oh, it's not been maintained, I can tell. So the first thing I do is an obsession. So I look at this and then I can feel that my floor Oh no, my floor is gone. Let me, oh, this is not only soft, the plywood's gone. Here, can you hear this? So the plywood is actually cracking. And let me just take my humidity tester. So let's say we got 50, 60%. So just saying, this floor everywhere is gone. All right, you're in for a project. And see the kind of maintenance that that person did is really nice, it's minimal. But if you look at this, don't be that person, okay? So I just want to point this out. You put grease, white grease in the bottom base. That is cool. Look at the rust down here, same thing. So that's that water that goes in from that trim. And look at this, all those screws are rusted and rotted. So my point is, you put grease on this Schwintex slide system. Why, why didn't you put none on top? Is this a different kind of system that you think that doesn't belong to this one? If you're gonna maintain people, maintain the right way. I mean, you don't even need grease on that, but whatever, that's my call. Again, we got a crap load of grease here. Plumber's putty, that's what I can feel. None up there. All right, so you're doing a half donkey job. So, so that's for the first one. Same with this one. I put white grease, but, but none on top. Okay, I don't even need to extend my stay too far. Here's the same thing. All right, I look at this. All right, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. Whoa, this one, this is first glimpse, people. I am down, this is down, look at this. So this has not been maintained. You can see that it's all open. And now I'm doing the same thing, so. My first glimpse, my way of looking at things is I go check the, whoa, okay. I go check this sponge. So that's the same thing. So this is all sponge material, sponge bomb material. You can even see the wrinkle in there, so. Same thing. See, there's nothing here and here. All the edges of this slide out. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. And that's it, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna go on the roof right now to justify where we have water here, if it is water here. And let's see what the roof has to say. I'll just go up right there and afterwards, we'll go see the reading with Laurel. So we're still in the morning. It's not noon, we haven't called you yet. Yet. See you in a bit. All right, I'm on top of the roof here. And I just want you to listen to this. This is the front edge and I can already see a lot of places where water can come in, like this. And here's the edge. So I'm about, I don't know, foot, foot and a half from in there. I want you to hear this. I hope you can hear this because now it's risky for me to walk even on this roof as I'm hearing it crack and pop like Rice Krispies. So front end corner, here's the same thing when you don't maintain your rig. You see all that sealant missing. People who don't clean it up, don't maintain it, don't come on top. This is what happened. So water goes in there and slides into the roof material, which is plywood and just rot the whole thing so 
this in my book is a bust and I wouldn't let my best friend buy this so since she is my best friend for the next couple of days I will definitely report her that on top of all the other findings that I already saw but skylight is the same thing you can see it hasn't been maintained there's screws broken skylight plastic another screw without sealant another one that's already swelling up rusted screw and all the edges that are not patched so let's go downstairs to see what more we got so remember that first glimpse when you walked in and everything looked pristine? I mean, did you happen to notice the linoleum that's lifted right here and the gouges that are in the linoleum right here? I mean, yes, it's a detail, but did you see that on your first glimpse? Now I know what Pierre has found underneath the slides. So here we are in the couch. I'm gonna open up this couch and I'm gonna see what I can possibly find behind here. I found a ladder, so let's just check for moisture readings. So we've got 30%. Now we're on the walls right now, but I'm gonna actually go down here on the floor. And I don't know if you can get down here with me, but we've got 37. I'm gonna go further in, 37, 35. So we've got some moisture reading underneath the couch as well. I'm also gonna go up here into the cabinets because I know that he has found some things. And again, we've got moisture readings on the walls in here, in the corners. So as you know, Pierre was on the roof and he could see where the edges on the front cap were gone. Where does that water go? So I'm just gonna check here and I've got 42, 51, 53, a lot of moisture right here. And we're gonna go on the other side as well because like we said, this was the front cap of the RV. So we'll just check over here and see what we have 48 can you see that 42 48 49 51 see 51 so i think we know where the moisture is going 60 61 64 but you're not going to see that on your first walkthrough because you're going to see how clean and pristine this thing looks so as you remember, Pierre was showing us the delamination in the back and he was showing you the seal on top of the window. So where does the water go? Let's just check. We'll just see what we've got going on here. And I think we can see where it actually is going. I don't know, guys, you be the judge. Is this a bust or a go for you? Let us know in the comments below. We wanna hear from you. But the next thing we're gonna check, we're gonna go underneath the bed. Remember that slide? That's where the mattress is. So we're gonna lift the mattress and see what we can find under there. So upon lifting the mattress, we find that this is not a storage compartment at all. So it's gonna be really hard to get to the floor to see what we find. But what we do find is, wow, everything is just kind of thrown in here. Um, I don't know if that's an inverter or, what exactly it is but everything's just kind of thrown in here they didn't put back the cover work has been done in here and that's a question for doubts of what's kosher in here i don't know about you bust or go are you glad you invested in an rv inspector to save yourself eighty thousand bucks i don't know let us know in the comments below so i know some of you are going to comment you're going to find high humidity because there's a lot of humidity in the air. Well, let's just try this. So over here, we've got 13%, 11, 8, 9. But remember on this side over here, this is where Pierre found the crack in the skylight and the seals of the sidewall are completely gone. So there's the difference right there. And even here, I'm getting 4 and 8 and 2. I don't know about you, but I think that shows you something. Well, now we need to make the dreaded call. Now, let me just tell you, we got here at nine and it is 10 o'clock in the morning. What did you hire us for? For our expertise? We booked two days per inspection, one day for the full inspection and the next day to do the report. We can't book anybody else in that time and we can't call somebody and say, guess what, we have a cancellation. It doesn't work that way. You tell me in the comments below, what do you think we've saved this customer today? But we're about to make that phone call and let her know what we have found and we will keep you posted.
All right. Well, we made the call. Never the fun part of our job, for sure. And this is another disappointed person. And when we started walking around, because we FaceTime her, we show her, so we just don't come up and say, oh, by the way, uh, run. No, we actually show physically what we found to make sense, to be logical, to make people understand that, listen, this is where I'm at. This is the address, this is the unit, this is the VIN number, this is what you asked me to come and see. And like she said, at one point she wanted to cry. That's where the drive comes from. We know you're emotionally attached, and the minute you put a deposit on this, you're dreaming of where you're going and the cupboard and how it is and how beautiful and perfect it is. For me, listen, this whole unit is, however you want to write in the comment below, POS, POC, whatever you want to call it, this is not even a project to take. What pisses me off is that I literally know somebody's going to buy this. Somebody will end up with this trouble. They will end up in a money pit, but if someone's looking for a really good project, this is a fantastic project. From the roof to the bottom, you got to Everything needs to be ripped out. Yeah, and I know we just got off the phone with her, and she understands, and, and she realized also that, no, this is the importance of an inspection. This is why I hired you, and I totally understand. And now, wherever you guys are going, I want to see where you're at, because I want to find a unit where you can do it. That might not happen all the time. As you know, you understand, we travel. We just left Vermont. We did New York, New Jersey. We're going to do North Carolina. We're going to do Georgia and Louisiana and then Florida. So for the next month, we're kind of busy a little bit. If we can fit you in in between, that's cool. There will be other inspectors out there. As long as you don't find yourself a wet noodle, things will be good. So remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's, it's all, all about, about the, the journey. journey.